as a result, we're left with only one term in that triple product, and I'll write it out here. It involves T21, K22, and T21 again. And when multiplied out, gives this final answer. So that's the answer to the second question in our problem. Problem three is an inverse problem for a rod element. Basically, there's a rod element embedded in two-dimensional space. And we're given one of the components of that element stiffness matrix written in the basic or underlying coordinate system. And then we must deduce what the fundamental stiffness of the rod is, the Ea over L. The solution to this problem involves looking at the transform stiffness of the rod element in the basic coordinate system, which is the one aligned with horizontal and vertical directions. And when we see that matrix in general form, it involves the difference in angle between the element's coordinate system and then the uh, basic system. If we're told that that number is actually minus 4.5 times 10 to the 6 newtons per millimeter, it's basically a question of identifying the unknown part of this equation and solving for it. Now the signs cancel, then E over L is this ratio, and it's 9.28 times 10 to the 6th. <coughs> 